Welcome to a very special edition of the Power Five as we're talking the 2024-2025 English Premier League season. In this episode, I will be giving out my favorite title bet, that's to win the league, my favorite bet to finish top four, which of course means Champions League qualification, my favorite bet to win the Golden Boot, that means the player who will lead the league in goals scored, my favorite relegation bet, that which side will be dropping down into the championship. And last but not least, number five, I'll be giving you one free play for match week one. All right, let's get into this. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me here. And we're going to start with the title race, and I'm going Arsenal plus 170, which means I will be fading Manchester City, who's, of course, going for an unprecedented fifth straight Premier League title. City's run a four straight, already unprecedented. Honestly, this season looks like a two-horse race between them and Arsenal. The gap in price to win the league has been steadily shrinking as the season draws near, and for good reason, okay? City has a cloud of controversy hanging over its head right now with looming sanctions, including a possible point deduction for violating financial fair play rules. If a point deduction is levied against City before the end of the season— That is huge because, in my opinion, that gives Arsenal a clear lane to the title and could even lead to City boss Pep Guardiola uh, maybe leaving before his contract expires at the end of this season, regardless of whether that point deduction is handed down or not before the end of this season. I think Arsenal gets the job done. No side in the world has been better out of possession than Mikel Arteta's Gunners, who conceded only 0.73 0.73 expected goals per 90 last season. Goal differential between Arsenal and City, basically dead even. But expected goal differential per 90, slightly in favor of Arsenal, who I think is going to have an improved attack this season. Meanwhile, for City, there is now tremendous pressure on Erling Holland to score due to the sale of uh, Julian Alvarez. Stay tuned for who I like to win the Golden Boot, because it isn't Holland, but I'm taking Arsenal plus 170 to win the Premier League. And you won't want to miss my play for their opening match coming up a little bit later in the show. All right, number two, let's look at the race to see who will finish top four in the league before we hit some of those other markets. Arsenal and Man City are locks to finish top four. And Liverpool, despite Jurgen Klopp's exit, I think they're a lock to finish top four as well. Too talented not to. So that's just going to leave one spot open. There's a couple sides to consider. One is Aston Villa, who of course finished fourth last season. But I think... Competing in the Champions League is going to have an adverse effect on Unai Emery's side here on the domestic front. So look for Villa to drop in the table. Chelsea, not interested at the current price. Tottenham, they're going to be a popular consideration to fill the void. But I'm instead going to take Newcastle United, plus 200. The Magpies ended up 7th last season, but they were 4th in expected points. So a sign of positive regression there. There were a lot of injuries they dealt with in 2023-2024, but as the season progressed... The Newcastle attack became elite. Fourth in goals scored is what they ended up. There is no European commitment weighing them down this season. So it is Newcastle to finish top four. Plus 200, you can get that at. That is my favorite bet in that market. Number three, let's stay with Newcastle for the discussion of the golden boot. Again, this is a bet on which player will score the most goals in the league this season. And I think that's going to be Newcastle's Alessandro Isak. Now, the front runner in this market is obviously Erling Holland. But with the burden of the increased Champions League schedule, he may be forced to rest some in the Premier League, at least against lesser opponents. It's fewer games played. Isak, meanwhile, he was third last season with 21 goals, six behind Holland. So a bit of a gap to make up, but not insurmountable. Especially when you consider Isak battled through injuries most of last season. But the number one reason to bet Isak instead of Holland to win this golden boot, it's price. Holland is a ridiculous minus 155 favorite. You can't bet him at that price. You can't bet anybody at that price. Isak, he's plus 1,600. Come on, it's worth the risk, Isak, to win the golden boot. Four, all right, let's turn to the bottom of the table now and which side is most likely to be relegated. Of course, in case you're unaware, the bottom three in the Premier League table get relegated every season. Last year, it was all three newly promoted sides. That, uh, that were one and done, sent back down to the championship. Honestly, feel that may happen again this season, but it is Ipswich Town that I feel is most likely to drop. They are the rightful favorite in this market at minus 125. Interestingly, Ipswich only side out of 20 that was not in the top flight two seasons ago. 
The other two newly promoted sides, Southampton and Leicester City, they were down in the championship for just one season. I want to bet Ipswich to finish last to reduce the price a little bit, but the impending point deduction for Leicester City makes that tough. Still, Ipswich, best bet to be relegated. Why? For starters, two seasons ago, they were down in the third tier of English football, League One. So it's been back-to-back promotions for them and just a massive step up in class compared to where they were two years ago, obviously. Truth be told, Ipswich overperformed in the championship last season. It's been 22 years since they played here in the top flight. Unfortunately for them, it's going to be a short return. Ipswich Town to be relegated, minus 125 is the price there. Okay, before I give up my free play for Match Week 1 in the Premier League, just wanted to remind you, or rather, I guess, let you know. I haven't told you this. You may have caught it already on my page, though. Uh, 4% best bet in the Premier League goes Friday. As a reminder, I ended last Premier League season on an 8-0 run. I'm now 33-14-2. My last 49 soccer bets through the Euro Cup and Copa America. I finished last season number one in net units in the EPL, number one in La Liga net units, number one in Serie A net units. So really dominated across all of Europe. And it's probably a good time to hop on board with that seven-day special, guys, which is still currently being offered at wagertalk.com. That way you get all my soccer picks for the weekend, not just that 4% best bet in the Premier League for Friday, which will cost you $25. Just $69 gets you a full week's worth of plays. It's normally $69, to get three days. So this special offer is basically giving you four free days. Just head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp to take advantage. No coupon code needed. All right, free play time. Match week one. Let's run out the power five like this. I am going with Arsenal to win nil. Minus 110. This prop entails two things. One, Arsenal must obviously win the match. And two, they can't give up any goals. They're facing Wolves, who saw their best player from last season, Pedro Nato, signed with Chelsea. Wolves were bottom four already in expected goals last season, even with Nato. Uh, The only three sides they were ahead of were those that got relegated. But more importantly, not only did Arsenal allow a league low 29 goals last season, but they kept the most clean sheets. That means they didn't give up a goal. That was 18 different times they did that. And they won to nil more times than anybody, 17. So Arsenal to win to nil, minus 110 is the look for Saturday. That is a 10 a.m. Eastern start. Let's now recap the Power 5, this special edition for the Premier League. One, we like Arsenal, plus 170 to win the title. Two, we like Newcastle United, plus 200 to finish top four. Three, Alexander Isak, plus 1600 to win the Golden Boot. Four, Ipswich Town, minus 125 to be relegated. And number five for Saturday, Arsenal, win to nil over Wolves. That is minus 110 at most sports books. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. If you already haven't smashed that like button, please do that right now. Always appreciate your support. Don't forget about Friday's 4% best bet on my page wt.buzz slash bp and that special offer seven days for $69. I'm going to have some more free plays in soccer posted for Saturday, so keep an eye out for that. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, I just don't know what else I have to say to you. Not only am I dropping the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. Plenty of content from me each and every day here on Wager Talk TV. And until next time, uh, let's cash some tickets. And here's to another outstanding Premier League season.